So these are folks that are waiting for a real seance. Have you ever felt possessed by a demon? Have you ever been in love? Yes. I feel like it's the same thing. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Kesha's really into the paranormal, right? She's got a brand new show, Conjuring Kesha. That's her jam, man. That's, That's what it. she does. Hey, guys. How are you? And he is Salvatore, our expert medium. These people think they're participating in a seance with Kesha, but have no idea what they're actually in for. So Sal is wearing the patented Impractical Joker shock collars that we control right here. Well, I'm not gonna hit it yet. <laughs> we never repeat punishments. <laughs> However, Sal complains so much, there was no other choice. So the story goes, this is one of the most haunted oh locations God. on the East Coast. Wow. I've worked with my friend Salvatore. <laughs> he really is a conduit to the supernatural. Sal, what do you think it's gonna hit? <laughs> The first step in any seance, we have to cleanse the space. Sure. It could happen at any moment. So I'm just gonna do this procedure. You guys speak amongst yourselves, really. It could happen now. So basically, he's just gonna cleanse the space. Could happen now. Salt is very cleansing. Do you think it's gonna happen now? Are you feeling anything? Yeah. <laughs> I can tell when things are charged. You think today is gonna be charged? Ready and. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, spirit, chill out. <laughs> Welcome back, buddy. <laughs> I eat Gordon's still like unbreathed cotton. Like a little electric? Yes, a little. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm feeling it more and more, so this is good. This is going to be a very good session. <laughs> All right, Sal, we really need you to bring the holy water over to the table. Was expected to take six. Oh, yeah, that's one. However, just a short time. Into <laughs> 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 All right, Kesha, just want to let you know anytime you touch your hair, we'll shock Sal on your behalf. If you're ready, I would love for you to give us your professional reading. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. The proprietor of the home was named Walter Flanagan. He had upwards of 300 followers. They lived together on like a, a commune. I had never felt the energy in this room before, but that energy will work. Well, I'll tell the story. Why don't I just tell the story? All right, Sal, every time you get the facts wrong, you're going to get shocked until you get it right. We determine the facts. Yeah. The first thing I'm getting is maybe in the turn of the, of the 19th century. Ah, 18th century. <laughs> Here we go. It's some type of like a pet, a domesticated pet, like a bird, fish, or Bobby. <laughs> Kesha whisper, what about the skunk? What about the skunk? It's actually a skunk? Is it a skunk? <laughs> Let's go with skunk. I feel like it takes a lot out of you. Yeah. Sabatory, get the wine, the ceremonial wine. So he <laughs> likes to have a ceremonial glass of wine. Into the hall. <laughs> <laughs> Hit everything! Hit it all! Son of a But Charles came in angry and depressed, shut it. Dare you to try it, Sal. Go ahead, Sal, try. Dare you. And decided to homeschool the children while also. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. care of her trouble. Husband. <laughs> In July of 1985, 